Hello, um, today I'm going to show you how to print a lino. So this is the process after you have cut your lino. Um, you're going to need your desired colour of ink, you're going to need two rollers, and you're going to need a bit of plastic. Um, that is what you're going to put your ink on top of to roll out. Okay. And obviously you're going to need your paper to print onto. Um, as you can see some students create backgrounds before they print onto it. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your ink and you're going to put a little bit in the middle of your bit of plastic that you've got. It doesn't need to be too much at all, uh, maybe the size of a 50p. And you're going to get one of your rollers. Now this roller has a little bit on the back and that stops the ink from going down on the table. Um, so make sure when you put your rollers down, you put it down like that so it doesn't get ink on the table. So with one of your rollers, you're going to roll the ink out in a small area on the plastic so the roller is completely covered in ink and you should get that lovely texture and noise while you're doing that. And then after you've done that, you're going to get your lino cut and you're going to roll it out evenly onto your lino. You need to make sure you go right up to the edges. You shouldn't be putting ink all over the table when you're doing this and evenly covering all your lino. Obviously we're going to put that down so you don't get ink on the table. And we need to carefully pick our lino up from the side and place it in the middle of our piece of paper or wherever we want it to go. And then we're going to use our dry roller. Um, I always put my finger down on top of the lino to hold it in place because occasionally it does move. And you can just roll on the back. Now obviously this can go into a press um, but for smaller linos, we tend to just use a, a dry roller on the back um, and we need to make sure we're evenly applying pressure all over the lino without the lino moving around. So that should be enough after we've done that. So I roll it down, carefully remove the lino and as you can see, we've got a lovely lino print. Just, uh, 